Hi everyone, it's Marissa with Bumblebee Apothecary. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'd like to talk a little bit about what the Weston A. Price Foundation is and what it stands for. So in some of my other videos, you may have heard me mention the Weston A. Price Foundation, and I wanted to just do a quick video on what exactly it is and the principles that it stands for because it's actually very interesting and very useful. Dr. Weston A. Price was actually a dentist who lived from the mid-1800s to the mid-1900s, and he started seeing lots and lots of people, especially children, coming into his dental practice having lots more cavities and crooked teeth and dental problems, and he wanted to know why this was. So it was a really unique time in history, actually, when all of this happened because airplanes and cameras had just been invented, and there were different traditional groups of people living around the world who still ate their traditional diet that their ancestors had eaten for hundreds of years. So Weston Price decided to go travel to some of these traditional cultures and find out what they were eating and why they were so much healthier than the people that he was seeing in his dental clinic. This is his main book that he wrote, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, and this contains the lowdown on all of the details, all the things that he found out during his travels and studies and everything. It's pretty interesting if you're like me and you want to know all the details about something. So. If you just want just the facts, I'm going to link a an electronic copy of this little pamphlet about the Weston Price Foundation. If you just want to have go keep my blanket. okay, if you just want to have a printed version to refer to. And while we're on the subject of books, there is this great children's book that's been already well loved in our house, as you can see, that contains the adventures of. Dr. Price as he traveled to different countries and learned everything that he learned. So I'm just going to give a really brief overview of some of the things that he learned. He traveled to Switzerland, to Scotland, to Africa, to Alaska, and he found out that these different people ate a little bit, slightly different diets, but some common themes among the healthiest civilizations were that they contained a lot of, their diets contained a lot of animal foods, animal fats, grass-fed animal fats and dairy products, they properly prepared their grains, they ate traditional fermented foods, and they also had some interesting practices that are largely lost in our culture today of taking care of parents before they have children and the mother after she has a baby and then very specific ways to nourish growing children that targeted these different important nutrients that are found in various foods. One of the things that Dr. Price was noticing that the children that he was seeing in his dental office had very narrow palates, which is what causes crowding of teeth. And he was noticing that children of people in the traditional cultures that, con that consumed nutrient-dense foods had very wide palates and plenty of room for all of their teeth to come in. I personally am very, very thankful for this information and the research that Dr. Price did and for the foundation that exists today where it's so easy to get all of this information for free. <music> Sally Fallon, I believe her name is Sally Fallon Morell now, published this cookbook that is designed along the lines of the principles that Dr. Weston A. Price discovered, and it contains lots of different recipes of all different types, lots of traditional ones that you may not see in other cookbooks, and um, lots of just standard ones for familiar meals and things like that, but it's all based on how to properly prepare things, so properly prepare grains and include fermented foods and include organ meats of different animals that have important nutrients in them and all different kinds of things like that. So very good if you're interested in that kind of thing. And then for babies and children, she also published this book that goes over every aspect pretty much of baby and child care from the same principles of good diet. And this for me has been very, very useful. I really appreciate it and highly recommend it. Lots of good information there. So that's been really, really good for me as I transitioned away from the GAPS diet like I talked about in one of my previous videos and just as a good standard way to eat all around it includes all food groups 
You don't exclude anything, you just prepare it properly and enjoy it and enjoy vibrant good health. So I wanted to just kind of share it with you if that's something that you guys are interested in. So let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of the Weston A. Price Foundation? Do you want to know more about it? Do you want me to talk about some of the cooking that I do or anything like that? Just let me know in the comments what you want to see. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I like to talk about how to make organic, handcrafted skincare and baby products, and I also like to talk about healthy lifestyle tips. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. A. Price Foundation is and some of the principles that are behind it.